So let's do this. I'll tell you one recipe that Barbara did very, very well. And you tell me one recipe yes. that your wife did very, very well. Welcome to the Italian Wine Podcast Lockdown Series. Every Monday we'll be connecting with Italian wine people. Join us to find out what they're doing and drinking today. This podcast is brought to you by Colangelo and Partners, the leading fine wine and spirits agency in the US. Visit Colangelo and Partners on www.colangelopr.com. Giancarlo, buongiorno. Ciao. <laughs> Or I should say, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good, good morning for you, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's 11 o'clock more or less here in New York and uh, it's finally a nice uh, sunny day. We had uh, pretty bad weather so far, but <laughs> funny, it has a little bit, a little bit of sun. How are things uh, in, uh, in Bra? Ah, in Bra, uh, we live for uh, two months uh, in, in, for, for me in a, in a very small apartment with two daughters. And so it's not uh, so easy, but uh, I'm lucky because uh, other people are not so not so good with uh, at the same at the same. Uh, um, it's, it's not easy for uh, other people, and so I, I think uh, I'm I'm lucky. My my situation is is it's quite good. I'm sure, Giancarlo. Just a quick question: Can you refresh our memory and uh, tell us a little bit what you do? I'm the, the editor of the Slow Wine Guide, that uh, is uh, a wine guide that uh, we, we make in Italy for a slow food movement. Uh, we, we made for 10 years the, this, this guide and uh, the 2020 edition is the 10, uh, 10 edition. Mm -hmm. uh, so in, during my life normally I, I, I taste a lot of wines, I drink a lot of wines and uh, I visit a lot of uh, wineries because uh, our uh, job uh, is very is very nice we we travel a lot to to discover uh, new wineries uh, to discover a new territory terroirs and also it's three years that uh, we started also to uh, review some uh, wineries from uh, california and oregon this is very yeah. nice And sure. so I travel a lot in the US and it's very, I love travel. <laughs> this, in this moment, it's very difficult also for this, yeah. uh, this situation. I, I can travel, it's a part of my life. The most important thing that uh, we introduce with this guide is that uh, we visit every year, every winery. And how are, and, uh, how are you managing all this in the situation where you can travel? And I believe in Italy, you can't, at this time, you can't even cross the boundaries of every region. So how are you changing the way the guide is, it's, it's been prepared? The, our decision is that um, we, we will make the, the visit, but uh, with digital, with the, probably with this, uh, this system, with Zoom and, uh, or Skype. And uh, maybe, I think, uh, will be a different things but uh, probably is, it will be nice because uh, uh, in our um, mind is that uh, record every visit with zoom or skype and after we can collect all the visits and uh, probably we can use to uh, To, to put also some uh, QR code on the, the guide and you can see after the, the visit that uh, we made in uh, every winery. So maybe uh, for the guide is not uh, so bad. It's yeah. bad for us because uh, during the visit it's very nice to meet the people, to, to talk with the people and it's also a moment very important to know better yeah. the region yeah. or True. these wines and also the way in the in what the people grow the vineyards it is very important also uh, for the the reason that you you told before so for the uh, the thing that uh, we love to to explain to the our readers so uh, not only the taste of the wines but also yeah. what you can find outside the glass 
listen, going back to, you know, how this whole thing changed our lives. Uh, Barbara and I don't have any kids. And so we, we, we spend most of our time either working or reading or things like that. I know you have uh, two kids, two daughters, I believe. And I bet you've been spending time uh, helping them with the homework. But how do you balance that with your personal life? So I guess, I mean, I try to exercise every day. What do you do? I mean, how do you balance the family and your personal time? Usually I woke up very early, six o'clock. And for uh, the two first uh, hours, usually I, I decide to to make uh, a thing that I never make, I never made, is write a book. I, I'm writing a, 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 um, a drama, a, a thriller, but uh, maybe never, uh, uh read never will read uh, this uh, this this book because it's only like uh, an hobby and uh, but I i'll be happy to be your publisher uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll publish it i'll be very happy to do that i i finished the, the 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 thriller one week ago and now i'm just uh, wow. reading i i read a very nice uh, phrase about uh, charles bukowski that uh, in, a, in a bad time uh, is right right is the only thing that uh, you can uh, make uh, not uh, crazy and uh, and i think is is very is a, a right uh, a right uh, phrase because in this period i i'm writing and so i'm thinking other thing other um, yeah. and, uh, to 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 other stories other other things very nice so, i do the so, same for... man you know i try to keep my mind busy and off the newspapers and all of that and so i'm reading a couple of different different things i'm reading this thing from harvard business school on strategy i love strategy and then i found this book that is called the beauty and the terror wow. and it's about italy during renaissance but not from the point of view of the art of the uh, beautiful, uh, uh, you know, moments that uh, Italy's story uh, witnessed during the Renaissance. It's more about, more about like uh, the, the wars and the struggles of all. Because Italy back then was, as you know, made of many different states, and these states were not getting along. So it's actually a good way to think about what happened in the past and see what we can do today to avoid the same mistakes. What about exercising? Uh, because I don't know yeah. about you, but I try to balance the drinking and the eating with a yeah. little bit of exercise. So yes, also before the virus, usually I may uh, I made uh, like thirty minutes uh, every day to some exercise, and now I improve the the number of exercises. In, in the moment, I, I'm I'm making like uh, forty five minutes, one hour. Wow. Half in the morning and half, half in the afternoon. Not bad. It's very, it's nice. I use uh, some app on the iPhone. <laughs> so. so what is your routine? Because I can tell you, I do three days and three days I, I interchange exercises. And I try to make it always interesting and fun because otherwise it's boring as hell. Uh, so how do you keep it interesting for you? How does it work? I have a boss. This is my Apple Watch. Nice. It's my boss and decide everything for me <laughs> and I have some apps. Do and your do your exercise with you or you exercise alone? No, alone, alone. And during the exercise, usually I uh, listen a podcast from, uh, it's made uh, by an incredible teacher hmm. of uh, history, is uh -huh. Alessandro, Bra Alessandro Barbero. It's very nice uh, yeah. person. It's wonderful podcast. Podcast, and so when I made my exercise, I I hear about uh, Napoleone on Garibaldi, Mazzini, <laughs> Cavour, or some. Giancarlo, this is for the burning part of the calories. What about yeah. the cleaning part of the calories? Are you cooking, or is your wife cooking, or you're uh, taking both. burns? Both, both, because uh, I like very much to cook. It's very, it's, it's a part very important for my life, and it's very nice. And uh, but also my my wife is very, is a very good cooker. So let's do this. I'll tell you one recipe that Barbara did very very well, 
and you tell me one recipe yes. that your wife did very very well you want to mm -hmm. start or i start i start you <laughs> so that's about two weeks ago barbara made an amazing ragu okay so oh. uh the bread sauce and meat and because we we wanted to kind of flavor it up a little bit we used bacon i know that's kind of an exception <laughs> to the italian rule yeah but trust me it was amazing it was probably the best meal we had during quarantine and mm -hmm. uh you know, we don't do much pasta, but we indulged mm. because the sauce was absolutely fantastic. Really, really good. We ate it for like two days straight. So, what about <laughs> you? My my wife is uh, from Tuscany, so it's ah. not Piedmontese. Yeah, I I, I, um, I married a Tuscan girl. And, well, uh, I married a Piemontese. Imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, so yeah, she's very uh, a good cooker, uh, and um, I I love uh, the some Tuscan recipes like uh, pappa al pomodoro but during the summer. This is not the season, and uh, during the the winter and uh, the spring is very nice uh, the ribollita. I love that. And, uh, Probably tonight I uh, she probably. will cook probably because uh, the weather is not so good and uh, we have to cook on the terrace. Uh, we we will make the Fiorentina. We, uh -huh. we bought a very big uh, bistecca nice. uh, and probably we will uh, make the the Fiorentina. But I'm not sure because the weather is it's not is not so good. So and, we, uh, we have to. Do you already have a wine to go with that? Have you thought about opening something special or? Well, probably we have some Barolo because uh, yesterday I make uh, a testing with Zoom uh, with a producer and I open like uh, six or seven different uh, bottles. And nice. I have, I have all, a lot of bottles open it. And so we can match uh, different wines uh, with, the, with the bistecca. Uh, Barbara the other day made uh, the bagnetto verde with the anchovies. Wow. So, yeah, it was pretty good. It's very Piedmontese uh, recipe. Yeah. yeah, we're doing a lot of like regional dishes. Sometimes I cook something from Sicily, sometimes Sicily. she cooks yeah. from, uh, from, from Piedmont. So, you know, we try to balance the regionality of it. So listen, one more question. Uh, do you help your kids with the, with the homework? Are you, uh, do you also have to double your time as a teacher? How does it work? Yeah, uh, I divide with my my wife the 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 job to to try to uh, make the homework, but she's very nice. Uh, she she have she has to improve also the knowledge. Uh, she have to she has to make more uh, more things, more uh, concepts. So it's not simply on work. So it's not so easy, but uh, she she's nice because it's uh, a different things. I never uh, think about uh, to to teach uh, about math or uh, Italian or. But it's definitely a, a a much more engaging way to being a parent for sure. And uh, I know it's a lot of work, but probably. Uh... Of all things, this is gonna keep us all more, you know, close together and all of that. Giancarlo, listen, thank you very much for your time. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a glass with me, but it's only a little. It's a little earlier in New York. Well, I wish I could yeah. have. We're probably gonna have something tonight. Probably a white, I think, because we're gonna probably gonna go for a lighter dinner. So, listen, thank you very much. I appreciate your time cool. and, uh, and and chatting with you. And I hope to see you soon. We are probably, hopefully, coming back to Piemonte in August. So maybe we'll see you then. And I hope, but I'm not sure. I have uh, I, I have planned um, a travel to US, to Philadelphia, okay. in uh, in the middle of September. Well, you know, if you're coming we'll to New York, it. I don't know if restaurants will be working by then, but we would love to uh, have you for dinner. If Thanks. Yes. Love it. Thanks a lot. Chin chin. Grazie, caro. Ciao. All the best. Ciao. Grazie. Ciao. 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 See you next Monday for another virtual wine journey Italian wine podcast lockdown series.